my name is San. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Scorpio, I'm doing your reading with the Light Seer's Tarot blended with the Muse in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. So we've got the Ten of Wands or the Ten of Inspiration on the split, which is, you know, clearly just talking about this kind of upward, uphill climb. And then the Eight of Inspiration at the bottom of the deck. So that's a nice transition here, right? That's kind of like, it's been a bit of a challenge recently, but you might be coming into some smoother energy moving forward. Okay, so let's pull you a Creativity Oracle for overall energy. I'm kind of getting this, um, there's something here there's something here about like there's all these cows here. I think there are bulls. They're bulls. They have horns. So all these all these animals here that are kind of at your feet that are on this journey with you. And then the, when this transition happens, it's like it's almost like it's still that whatever that represents, it's still with you. But it's almost like maybe that's been part of the holdup is that you've been kind of waiting for this aspect to be triggered or activated. And then it's like, OK, now we're all on the road. It's something like that. And that might make more sense when I get into the reading a little bit here, because it's not necessarily talking about individuals, like people or relationships necessary. It's, I'll get into it in a moment. Okay, overall energy from the Creativity Oracle. Play, that's always a nice energy. So, there you go. There's those animals. Now they're in a play, they're in a play mode, right? So it's like from work to play. Our work can and should take on the quality of play. Okay. So, I mean, that seems to be kind of the transition here where you're going from something that was really laborious into something that has a much more playful energy in it. But what's interesting is like, it's like, it's all still kind of the same elements or maybe the same players. It could be people. Um, but something is is causing that shift where things are easing up. Everybody's feeling lighter. It's a more playful energy. So, well, that's really interesting because we're beginning with the Nine of Pentacles here, which, you know, she's cooking, right? So she's pulling up down all these herbs and such and putting it in a pot. And so likely just because I've been kind of focused on diet a lot recently, I'm really kind of honed into those kinds of details. So it might not be that particularly, but it's something like that you're surrounded by all of these resources. You have all of these resources at your disposal and, or, um, you've been kind of like, um, researching or like just ser searching or trying out different aspects, different herbs, maybe different foods, different medications, different friendships, different, like just trying a plethora, a spectrum of options, trying to find the ideal one. But it's like something is occurring here with this bird kind of pointing out this one element. And it could just be something that's like something really synchronistic, or maybe you just happen to it's the next one that you put your hand on kind of thing you see what i'm saying because i see it's like this plethora of stuff at your disposal and you're kind of going through each aspect and seeing where it fits or seeing which arrangement is most efficient or you see what i'm saying so what belongs and what doesn't belong what is the ideal combination for this recipe for example but it's like something is kind of it's like it's lining up all of a sudden because something really synchronistic is happening and it could be something to do with this play element, something really playful and like a shift from the energy. The energy is shifting and that, that could be the thing that's kind of pointing it out for you. Or it's like you throw this ingredient in the mix and then you just notice that you have more energy and you're feeling more lighthearted and playful, something like that. But with the seven of pentacles coming next to it, this is why I'm saying everything that I'm saying, because there, I was suddenly noticing this little element in the center of the card that I'd never noticed before. And it was almost looking like this kind of bottlenecking energy, right? I mean, just because of the way it's like his hand is shedding light right on that area. And it was almost looking like this gnarly kind of blockage type of thing, right? So, um, 
it could be literally translated into like food and diet and kind of finding the exact right food combination for your exact diger digestive tract, something like that. It could be, but it's just talking about like that you are experimenting or playing around with ingredients, details, individuals, resources, whatever, com combining different elements. And it's like, you're kind of tuning into exactly the right combination, or there's one particular one that is really, it's like, you're seeing the benefit of it right away. And it may be drawing your attention to what exactly the holdup was. It's like there, there seems to be some kind of a little blockage or a bit of congestion or you see what I'm saying? It's just because it's all kind of tangled up there and it's like shining a spotlight on it. It's like there's a, there's been a situation, there's been uh, something going on that may, you may not have realized that it was there. It's almost like stumbling upon, like I said, maybe just a food that makes you feel good, maybe just a playful attitude that is really kind of unlocking your creativity or something, but it's like shining a light on this thing is, it's like you're, okay, more, efficiently expressed. It's like you're finding exactly the right element to address exactly the right blockage. It's like they're fitting together perfectly. And it's really kind of, that's why the spotlight is being shone on this area, if that makes sense, right? So, and it feels like, if well, it feels like an interesting transition beyond that point. Because, I mean, I'm saying here in the beginning that it's kind of like this work process that's evening out and becoming a really playful or more flowing or easier energy. But there is perhaps a little bit of a hiccup here with the Three of Swords. And it could just be a real kind of zoomed in or amplified dealing with this energy, whatever it is. It's like, oh, here it, here's the little bugaboo, right? It's like... It's like, it's not necessarily a really big deal, but it's kind of the focus for a while. But it's a focus that is good because it's like, you know the answer, you have the solution, almost as if you've stumbled in this, to the solution before you even realized, well, it maybe it helped you discover what the problem was. And it's also providing the solution all in one. But I mean, if we are talking something about like, uh, diets or medication or things like that, if you find exactly the right thing, this three of swords could be talking about like that, that healing and detox process, right? Especially with the, with the four of emotions next. Well, you know what this was coming out with is talking about that there's been something kind of stuck in your energy or maybe in your body or just in your life details that you've been kind of searching for an answer for for a long time. So that kind of answers it for me here because I was saying perhaps you're only discovering this as you find the solution. But I feel like maybe all of this exploration and searching and experimenting and recombining things was actually in an attempt to solve this problem. So the Four of Cups kind of talks about, to me, it's like the answer isn't quite, it's if it's being presented to you, it's not being picked up by you. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it could be, that's interesting. It's like, it's cause it could be in your environment, but it's almost like you're scanning right past it. That's kind of what this four of cups talks about, right? It's like the solution is being presented or an answer or an opportunity or an invitation. And it's kind of being overlooked or bypassed for the moment. So you may have been kind of in this four of cups energy for a while. But this is, like I said, it feels like it's really clearing it out beautifully. So if there is a bit of a, a minor setback, it's just because it's like all of the focus is suddenly kind of on the problem and, and clearing it out. And then the justice card coming next. And this is exactly this energy that I was talking about at the beginning, where it's like, I'm just really noticing this here. It's like the energy just completely corrects and aligns and everything is flowing again. So the Knight of Pentacles coming next. It's interesting how many Pentacles cards you have um, in this spread today, Scorpio. So, so I'm not, I don't know why I'm losing my thought all of a sudden. It's because there was just like this big energy that came out and then it was like this, this drop down. Maybe that's, maybe that's part of your process too. That could be what this is. It's like, it's like this has been, this has been a lot of energy and focus and, and interest and such. And then it's like you find the thing and then there's just kind of this letdown moment where you just settle into that process for a while. Okay, 
So the Knight of Pentacles was kind of looking to me like a follow on to this energy here. It's like you've been exploring your environment or your own skills and abilities, your own knowledge. You've been just scanning for the thing. And it's like now that you found it, all of these other aspects are seem to be falling away or you're it's becoming clearer to you this is the this is the right arrangement and so these other aspects or details no longer really need to be focused on or part of the part of the mix so it's kind of a uh, a reduction process as you move forward which you know a reduction of course a reduction what am I trying to say? A reduction leads to amplification and purification. That's interesting. So whatever this element is here that you're finding, as you the more you focus on it and allow other aspects to kind of fall into the background, it seems like that itself is kind of an, an amplification process. It's almost like a concentration that makes any sense it's like it it benefit it only amps up the benefits of whatever this situation is it's like the more you focus on it the more you give it life perhaps the more it gives you life it's just a, a lovely balancing energy that it just kind of keeps growing upon it growing and expanding so and then this nine of cups here is talking about it's almost like i'm actually seeing it as you kind of getting back to something Especially because you got all of this pentacle, really earthy energy, and then here you are coming back into this cups energy. Well, you've got the cups here as well too, right? So it's almost like you, there's, there could be something here about you had to kind of sidestep your own inclinations in a sense in order to be able to really pull this out of the environment, whatever that could mean. So now you're back to your usual focus is like you had some particular issue or problem that you needed to figure out it kind of pulled you out of your preferred focus perhaps and so now that that seems to be like totally wrapped up and dealt with or at least on its way to completely working out now you're back into this nine of emotions nine of cups card which is just this beautiful balance and harmony energy which is also bringing in this the hierophant it's almost like okay now that i've healed my body, for example, I can get back to this spiritual practice, which is really interesting because you would think that they would kind of go hand in hand, right? So it's not, it's not necessarily that specific. It's not, that might not be the, the proper example here, but it's like whatever it was may have been pulling you out of your spiritual focus, pulled you out of your meditative practice for a while because these two cards side by side are really kind of emphasizing that, right? Kind of getting back into the flow, getting back connected with the water realm, which to me is all about consciousness and psyche and telepathy and all that wonderful stuff. And especially because of this stairway with this, this light up here, actually, no, oh, that's not there. I was thinking there was another card there. That's interesting. Well, there is a church in the background. Is that a church? So perhaps that was actually... Perhaps, okay, so I'm actually kind of getting something now about perhaps whatever this is that you've been working through, it, maybe it has kind of pulled you out of your spiritual focus for a little while, but in a really beneficial way is what I'm getting. I mean, maybe, maybe that was getting too intense or too something, too something that it's like you maybe you just needed a little bit of a break from it. So maybe this was just a bit of a distraction to kind of pull you out of that realm, kind of out into the play yard to play with your with your comrades. I'm saying that because, because of this, it's like you're this, this um, group of co-creators, I guess. I almost get to say co-conspirators, but I mean, maybe, maybe for some of you. So, so you're back into this focus that is incredibly health inducing for you and energy alignment for you. And it's like this, whatever this is, it's only, it could be something like something has, has gone off balance in your body or in a relationship or at your workplace. And it's required all of your focus. It's like you had to solve this problem. It was, 
the priority and because of that perhaps your spiritual life or your even just your leisure and relaxation time has kind of been at jeopardy or just completely abandoned for a time and that would include kind of like your connection right because I'm seeing this as like the, the connection being reestablished especially because of this card next the awakening card there's something here about like not only just kind of like reestablishing that connection to spirit or you know your spiritual practice but almost kind of well it's almost this kind of natural byproduct or side effect of this whole process that you're going through it's like this refinement and purification amplification of the solution or of energy flowing and being in alignment right that's making you very in alignment and that's almost like naturally because of the effect of that is that your connection is reestablished but there's also this energy here that's almost talking about that you're sending out this signal kind of energetically to the universe or just to life to you know to this to this plane kind of it's almost like your vibrational signature has shifted quite a bit through this process because I want to say that whatever this this kinky energy was it's being cleared out and so your vibration is different now because of it and it's almost like a, a notification being sent out of your new vibration I almost said your new home home being like your baseline energy right it's like so that's being sent out and what's really interesting is that there seems to be a response to that with this page of cups and this night of voices coming next so it's kind of like your consciousness or your energy is kind of going out like I said it may not even be intentional on your part it's just kind of this byproduct because you've you've kind of you've come back into alignment and so it's almost like that's being announced you see what I'm saying the it's like the rules have changed the rules of I want to say this the right way it's kind of like the rules of engagement have changed but it's something like but just because your vibration has changed so in response you're going to it's like the universe or your life or you know everything is going to have a new relationship or response to you you see what I'm saying because you have changed your I don't know what phrase to put on that I keep wanting to say your rule of engagement but that's not quite right you know what I mean but it's like the details have changed that detail is being broadcast and in response this something is coming in right something different is coming in so this is really good because I want to say going back to the seven of pentacles actually I mean this is all about you know kind of planting seeds and setting intentions and all that kind of stuff it's like perhaps you've been intending or focusing something to to manifest or to be experienced for some time but there's been a little bit of a bottleneck or a kink in the energy right so if that's being all completely cleared out that's being all completely cleared out I want to say that what well, it's interesting because I for some reason I want to say that this whatever this is that's coming in right you see what I'm talking about right there's something cu coming in here and then there's this it's almost like this messenger well it is it's a night this messenger energy approaching you this though I want to say is connected to this one right so it's almost like um it's almost like settling into this new kind of vibrational version of yourself perhaps something like that you know what I mean it's like there's two versions this other version is is coming in to, to become your baseline your your everyday experience it may have been just kind of out of reach for you for some time and then this energy here I want to say that these energies that are coming in are not actually reflective or connected to this energy so if this is talking about something that you've been kind of focused on bringing in or experiencing or drawing to you I want to say that that energy is being cleared and straightened and balanced but you may be surprised at 
what unfolds next after that healing process or recalibration process because I feel like it's not necessarily what you were or they're they're just two separate things I'm not saying that whatever this is isn't coming in but I'm saying that as this new vibration gets broadcast out at least the next series of things experiences that you are moving towards are not necessarily connected to any recent focused intent to manifest if that makes any sense but it feels but it feels really good and it's like i don't want to be discouraging and say that you're not going to get what you want but I want to say that that this is also absolutely delightful, right? Because, and it's it's a match to this beautiful new energy that you've established. So it's going to be a delicious experience, right? So, I mean, and this card too also kind of talks about timelines. And, and it's so it's almost like you that you're switching the channel and moving. If you are kind of switching, switching the channel, if you're making that, that big of a energetic leap between your base vibration you kind of are switching into a completely different reality or timeline in a sense and so if that's the case then the message that could be coming in or the understanding that may be coming in for you very soon is that this is this may be no longer applicable because that could be something that you were trying to draw in in that other vibration. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you're in this new energy, this new place now. So it's almost like it's time to re maybe it's time to completely reassess the things that you've been focused on previous to this blockage being cleared. Perhaps there's some new details coming in or there's just there's just a new it's almost like you you're you're looking at it through a new consciousness in a sense, a differently vibrating consciousness. So you may be surprised that the details may need to shift or some elements may, may need to be changed. In fact, perhaps a lot of it needs to, needs to just be let go of or we'll just natu you'll just naturally feel a non-resonance with it anymore because you're in this other vibration now. You know what I mean? So I guess it's just kind of a, a message here at the end to reassess the things that you are identifying as goals or desires for yourself because you, you seem to have shifted into a completely different place. And so those old, those old desires may not be appropriate anymore. Okay, so I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description box. And if not, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.